Welcome sa ating channel. We are here for the Techware Mirage 360. Nakita nyo na yung previous review ng Mirage 240 and sobrang nagandahan nga tayo sa performance na lumabas even or despite the fact na budget coolers lang po mga ito. Now again, we are back with Techware dahil ang kanilang 360mm cooler is just at a price tag of below 4K. Imagine that, here in the Philippines, may option tayo na napakaganda ng performance ng kanyang 240mm variant. How about the 360mm variant? Alamin po natin yan, and for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Now let's talk about the Mirage 360. The compatibility pagdating sa mga 360 coolers is quite... Uh and a struggle, especially that most of the budget consumers may settle down with micro ATX uh, build dahil nga kadalasan naman talaga ng mga micro ATX motherboard are way cheaper option over the ATX variant. Kaya bibihira din po ang nag atx lalong lalo na kung ang consumer is more on to price to performance ratio. Pero how about if the case now is marami na rin tayong ATX variant na budget like back in the days of B450 series na bibihira ang micro ATX options or kung meron mga difference ang B450M over the B450 is nasa around 500 to 1000 pesos only. Pero eto nga po, isa din consideration of why we settle down on 360 is sometimes there are cases na pwede naman nating i-prioritize yung budget para sa mga main components hindi naman sa binabudget or tinitipid ang ating cooling solutions pero if we have this kind of choice na budget nga siya pero maganda naman ang performance then we may consider settling down with Mirage 360. Pero the question is, is it really worth it? Or is it really reliable? Mas dun tayo sa reliability. Now let's check the benchmark. When we check the benchmark, starting with the uh, maximum performance or maximum uh, fan speed, makikita po natin dito sa 80 watts na hindi ganun ka-significant yung binibigay sa atin na info as usual kasi kadala sa naman ng 80 watts is talagang applicable lang siya for smaller coolers or cheap coolers just to include them with our graph. Pero, eto na, 100 watts max RPM. Look at how is the benchmark of Mirage 360. If the Mirage 240 is way performing over the other coolers, how much more kung 360? Hindi ko nga lang may sasama sa ngayon since we don't have uh, enough graph or data on how will this cooler reach the steady state or how will this go from idle uh, settings to maximum load settings ng CPU. Pero yun nga po, if there is only a data, dun po mas magkakaroon pa ng significant advantage ang isang 360 cooler over those 240 coolers. Given na, syempre, this is bigger, comes with uh, more uh, coolant, etc. Pero yan is for another video. Let's go and check again the noise normalized temperature. Dito makikita nyo na ngayon yung difference ng 360 ulit over the other budget coolers in the market. So, if at a price tag of 4,000 more or less, and you have a casing that can load a 360mm radiator, I think Techware Mirage is one of the go-to option that you may now check. So, yan lang po ang ating quick review of the Mirage 360 for you guys to have an idea that this is very, very cheap yet reliable. Since maganda rin ang kanilang warranty return, bibihira po ang returns pagdating sa mga techware. You may inquire sa mga retail stores dyan na certified or official retailer ng techware brands. And makikita nyo din po na as of now, yung mga releases na rin po ng techware pagdating sa mga Mirage series is compatible na rin po siya for LGA 1700. So may kasama na po silang bracket. So that's it. And for more videos like this, keep posted and subscribe. Abangan nyo po ang iba pa nating mga budget coolers in the upcoming weeks.